Thanks for making tea, Mom. Oh, you're welcome. I had the most loving upbringing, but from very early on, I knew I was different. And the reason why I knew I was different is because, you know, I was adopted by an all-white family. And I was the only person of color in my whole town. You were in the middle school, and you asked to leave the study hall so that you could get a pencil. The teacher knocked you to the floor and put his foot on your back. And he said, I know your mother and father, but you don't look or act like them. Who are you? What rock did you climb out from under? And, uh, and the oh time when he grabbed you and slammed you into uh, the wall, broke your glasses. I mean, you went through terrible things. I got a message from, you know, very early on, you know, you're, you're, you're different than us. Not from my family, but from the community. And as parents, I mean, Dad would go into the school superintendent and make these things known, you know, what is going on? It was painful to always feel like you didn't fit in. And so in high school, I started using drugs. I wanted the pain to go away. And one day, I was arrested and charged with four felonies and three misdemeanors. My father spoke with the judge, and he pleaded with him to allow me to go to a rehab. And I decided that if I'm going to get healthy, I'm going to try to live life to the fullest. So I enrolled in a junior college. I finished that. I went to a four-year school. I finished that. When I finished my um, graduate work, before I went on for my doctorate, I took a job working for the former U.S. Surgeon General under Presidents Clinton and Bush. But I still had these questions. Where did I come from? Do I have a white mother and a black father? You know, am I just black? Not knowing is so frustrating. Not knowing my past. Not knowing if my mother really did want to give me up. Was she forced to give me up? I need to find those answers out. I don't know the future. But thank you to both of you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for, you know, being my mom and dad. No one is ever gonna replace you guys, ever. This is about filling a different type of a void. How much do we love each other? This much. <laughs>